incredible to watch them make this movie. There are so many huge action sequences and so much going on. I have no idea how they keep everything organized, but what I do know is it's the stars who give the movie its heart. I'm not leaving my dad. Did you guys see the film yet? Saw it a week ago. IMAX Have you seen it? I've seen it. I saw, saw it. saw it this morning. Yeah, I saw it this morning, so let's talk about the film. The hardest part of making the film was just trusting that you were going to come out looking okay when you didn't understand any of what was going on. The actors had to be told where the giant Autobots, Decepticons, and Dinobots were located because they're at it after filming digitally. But that wasn't Jack's biggest challenge. I had that one damn leather jacket every and single he, day. Oh my god. And you did wear that the whole movie. The whole movie. It's yeah. in Texas. Oh wow. Well. No we did we did wear a lot of long sleeves, you know, because mm -hmm. all the stunts. And I was surprised to learn how much of the stunt work was actually them. I think we did somewhere in the region of 80 to 90 percent of the we stunts did do, ourselves. Yeah, but we did have amazing stunt doubles. Was there like a favorite stunt? The explosion's yeah. great. The one that's in the trailer, when Jack, and Mark, and myself were, were slow motion running, it was insane. And we did it, and you feel the heat on your back. Adrenaline, yeah. which you wouldn't believe. Through the roof. Nice <laughs> Look at this. Back in LA, Jack told me Nicola's intensity <laughs> left him impressed. You know, one of the great things about Nicola is that she's not afraid to commit to anything. And whether that's the scene that she's doing, and whether it's committing to a performance, or whether it's just committing to the physicality of the role, she's a tough, tough girl. She has to be tough to put up with all of the shenanigans you guys were doing on set, torturing her, ripping her hair out. Yep. Everybody's been talking about Wild Weave Wednesdays. They oh my still God, say of course. torturing you. Didn't you see? Were you there? Yeah, I was you there. Were there. I should explain. Mark and Jack decided Wednesdays were the ideal day to haze 19-year-old Nicola. I learned all about it on the set in Hong Kong. Well, we got Wild Weave Wednesdays. What's Wild Weave Wednesdays? That's when Mark and I rip out Nicola's weave every Wednesday. He thinks it's okay to pull out my hair. He's supposed to be your boyfriend in this film, not torturing you. No, Jack does it, but Mark is the, the worst. <laughs> Another Transformers newcomer, Bing Bing Lee. She's a huge star in China where a lot of the movie was shot. So you're like a bigger deal than Mark Wahlberg walking around in the streets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're just like, I got this, I got this. They add a lot of Chinese elements in this movie. Actor, actress, and a lot of beautiful places. And we're even fighting and racing in Hong Kong busy uh, streets. Yeah. So it's really, you know, connected for Chinese audience. Director Michael Bay accomplished those street scenes with a run-and-gun guerrilla style of shooting, which suited franchise newcomer Stanley Tucci just fine. The guerrilla style shoot for me that that I love shooting that way, mm -hmm. and Michael loves to shoot that way, and it was exciting, and the city lends itself to it. Oh my God! Now there was a lot of action in this scene. Yeah, that you I'm were still exhausted. Running, yeah. <laughs> you sure said the jet lag. <laughs> You were running all over the place. How much was that all you? You did all your own running around? No, if I think if I had done the stunts, well then like the character would have like died in the film. So I couldn't do them, yeah. For Kelsey Grammer, he had to keep his cool even when the action got hot. You're the bad guy. I am the bad guy. Did you have fun playing the bad guy? I had a great time, yeah. You have no idea what you're involved with here. Really? My first experience with explosions was, uh, I thought, well my guy, would be very cool about all this. So I thought as I saw this piece of flaming debris coming at my head, I thought, yeah, <laughs> I'd be cool about this. Right. I sort of just got out of the way and it sort of like bounced off. <laughs>